Hey crafty babes! I'd love to share with you a traveler's notebook page. Uh, so I've got a couple of pictures here that my husband took of me. I was using watercolors and he was just actually doing some photograph tests for lighting and things but um, he sent them to me and I really liked how they turned out and they were super colorful and just kind of showed me in my you know in my element and technically crafting uh, and doing a little painting which the painting part is what's a little out of my element but I thought I would take these pictures and do a little layout to just remind myself to have fun and and use my paints <laughs> so I've got all this gorgeous stuff from the Zoe kit from Felicity Jane it's the kit for August and uh, these are my these are my colors I just feel like uh, the pink and the yellow and the blue oh my gosh so gorgeous anyway because these photos are landscape orientation I actually am flipping my traveler's notebook on its side which I like to do sometimes so I basically end up with two long sides instead of two tall sides so there's so many colors because of that palette that I decided to use this really fun paper that's got like the the paint stripes it's I don't know it's just kind of perfect things are just working out in the beginning you'll see where I struggle a little bit but so I decide to use the the pattern paper there to layer the photos on and then I really want to grasp all the colors right and up at the top I'm kind of trying to do this tiered thing where I can just pull in a lot of the colors and I just have them sitting there for a while so that I can visualize what they're going to look like and I'm going to mat those photos on a white cardstock just because I don't want them sitting directly up against the color I feel like if you put a white background on it it'll pop off a little bit more and then I will layer them on top of each other just a slight bit And I do like matting photos, especially when you're doing photos with color on top of colored or patterned paper. I just feel like it has a little bit of separation there. And then I'm really fussing with this little acrylic, or it's not acrylic, acetate tab. It's just not working, but I really wanted to use it. So I'm working on the top again, trying to fuss around with the way that I want these three journaling cards to go. And then I really want to just layer the same color on top of the same color card. I don't want to mix the colors around too much. I want to kind of have like a yellow section, a blue section, and a pink section. So I feel good about what I've got going on up there, but I you'll see me consistently question myself up there. <laughs> and then I'm solid on where the fun acetate word goes because that is so much fun. <laughs> And then I, I, know, I know that I need to pull some black up to the top and I haven't decided on my title yet. So I pulled that black scallop edge up there. And again, I kind of fuss with it a lot. <laughs> so I also have that pink tab sitting there and that gets changed out for a pink and white label, which I felt like pulls a little bit more contrast over there. The, the tab tended to blend in a little bit too much and then I took the branding strip from one of the papers and cut off a little piece of it that said celebrate the little things and I've got that over there but that is not where it's going to stay so again I'm I'm fussing with what's over here I you know when I've got the yellow gingham and the yellow heart and then I've got the blue dot and the label and then I've got this multicolored one so I'm just struggling that pink is the right color there or not and so I keep trying to put other things over there. So we'll, we'll see how it ends up. And then I do try to fuss around with where that little strip is gonna go. And it kind of gets put off to the side for just a little bit. I go and find a, a pink heart. It's a vellum heart from another kit, I forget. And it just is not working. <laughs> so I figure I'm good on the bottom. 
I know that that's where I want all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just make my choices glue down so that I don't have to worry about the bottom because I'm pretty good. I'm pretty solid. I, I dot some glue on that acetate piece and throw that up in the corner. Feels good. Cut off the edges. We're good to go here. All right. So I decided that this is how I want this stuff, but I want to add some staples because I love using my tiny attacher. So, but I need to anchor these cards down a little bit further before I start grabbing stuff and stapling. And then I took it over to my paper trimmer and just cut all the excess off. And then I'm giving it a bit more of a secure gluing before I staple some more of those things on there. A little extra trimming because that kind of stuff bugs me. And then again, I'm still working on figuring out what's going on down here. And I leave that little heart there for a bit, but I know in my mind, I don't want two hearts up there. I want three different things. I want a heart and a label and then something else. So voila, we have an upside down tab and I love it. So we are all good. <laughs> We're all good up there. And I am adding some other little staples down below. And I finally decided on my title and I'm going to use the puffy alpha stickers to say get messy and I'm it's a little message to myself because the page that I was working on in these photos was I was really going after it with the the paint splatters and I was having a blast so at the bottom of that title I also throw in a little a little side note that says it's really okay because I'm well, you'll see it a little bit later, but I'm clean when I, when I scrap, I put things away, I keep things where they're supposed to be. And I, I clean up after myself and I don't, my design is kind of clean. I don't just throw stuff around. I, I it just, it doesn't feel comfortable for me. So getting messy to somebody might be very different to somebody else. But for me, I was trying and here I also tried something. I tried to make one of those little hearts different and I sat and looked at it for a minute and was like, that's not going to work. So all three hearts are black and I really did try. I tried to do a little bit of imperfection there, um, but I will have to just try to do that somewhere else. And I get, I'm trying with this heart. I feel like it should go because the color is perfect, but I just, it just wasn't flowing. So I knew that the whole time my journaling was going to go here. And that's kind of why I wanted the cards to be a little stacked because I wanted that corner for some journaling. So I'm going to spare you from seeing the whole thing being written out in pencil and then the whole thing being written out in pen. But if you've never watched my process videos before, I always write in pencil to make sure that everything I want to say fits in the space that I have. And then I write it over in pen. Oh, here's an imperfection that I did. I stapled the second scallop and the fifth scallop what I actually did. Yep. I'm throwing some puffy hearts on there because they are adorable. Here's where it gets fun. So if I'm going to do a page about getting messy, I guess I should probably get messy on the actual page. So I grabbed my water brush and it did not work. There just wasn't enough water. So it wasn't um, splatting any of the paint. So I grabbed my actual paint brushes and some water. And so I'm using black first and I'm just, I'm going to town. I'm doing a little underneath the title in that open space, doing a little bit up there around the, the cards and then a little down below on the other page. Um, but just keep in mind, I did cover up my photos as much as I could. And then I'm mixing up a little blue color that matches. And then I'll do the same thing for yellow and pink. Cause I'm just, if I'm going to go color, I'm just going to do it. <laughs> so I really like how it turned out and it does make me feel good to get a little messy. So I don't know, you might be seeing a little more paint splatter going on. So clean up my mess and put my paints away and let's see what else I end up doing here. Oh yes, of course I clean up. <laughs> I clean up and yes, I did let that dry. Um, okay. I think I'm going to, oh yeah. I use this stamp that says play from the Felicity Jane kit called Zoe. And that was super fun. And then I grabbed my date stamp and I didn't know the actual date of these and I didn't have access to my computer at the time or my phone. So I just stamped the month and the year. And that's it. Oh, and then underneath the, or next to the get messy, I wrote 
a little <laughs> because I was like, you know, you know you're gonna limit yourself to just a little bit. Uh, and so I just erased that and called it done. And that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. And if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, you could give it two thumbs downs. That's cool too. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Bye.